Hi, I'm Zach Heisey. Welcome to the Dana Garage. Today, we're gonna to talk you through the installation of our Ultimate Dana 60 Axle. The Ultimate Dana 60 Axles are engineered for peak off-road performance. You'll see how Dana has taken the modifications that Jeep enthusiasts demand and build them right in. We designed these Dana 60s to fit all 2007 to current Jeep JK Wrangler vehicles, two-door or four-door. Rubicon, Sahara, Sport, doesn't matter what model, these axles will fit them all. Some of the upgraded features on our Ultimate Dana 60 are high pinion housing, extra gusses for support, and thicker brackets. We designed an all new carrier for the Ultimate Dana 60, and it houses Dana's 10 inch 256 millimeter ring gear. It's a high pinion design with increased ground clearance. One of the first things you'll notice about the Ultimate Dana 60 is it has an eight lug bolt pattern. It's eight on six and a half. We did this so we could incorporate the massive brakes, 35 spline chromoly axle shaft, and worn locking hubs. And in those axle shafts, we have Spicer SPL 70 U joints. It's the largest U joint in the off road market today. Let's talk brakes. Anytime you lift your vehicle, put larger tires on it, it's a good idea to update the brakes. We didn't forget about that on the Ultimate 60. Show you a comparison between the stock front caliper on your Dana 30 or Dana 44 Jeep Wrangler and the new Ultimate 60 caliper. Rotors are 14 inch compared to the stock 12 inch. The rear brakes have also been significantly upgraded. The rear caliper is a dual piston design just like the front. The rear rotors are also 14 inch. We'll talk about more of the cool features of the Ultimate Dana 60 during the installation, but for now, let's get the tools out. When you install this into your Jeep, you're going to need to have some kind of lift kit. Any manufacturer's lift kit for the 07 to current Jeep JK will work as we designed the brackets to be a direct bolt in to your Jeep. One of the things that I've already installed in our axle are the jounce restrictions. Each lift company does these a little different. Some put them up on the bump stops, some put them right on the axle. If you do need to drill your axle, make sure you tap the hole for the bolt. Don't try and use self-tapping screws. These brackets are a lot thicker and it won't go through. So tap the hole, put your jounce restrictions on. It's a lot easier to do that when the axle is down on the ground than when it's up in the air. Tighten down the coil spring retainer. The axle has a small retainer at the bottom of the spring. So when the suspension articulates, it keeps the spring attached to the axle. We're now getting our axle into place to connect the suspension, and we're starting with the upper control arms. I'm not going to tighten any of the suspension bolts until we get the Jeep on the ground, because we don't want the suspension to be in a bind. You'll notice that none of the nuts and bolts that I'm using look new. It's because they're not. All the hardware gets reused from the original axle. I've removed the caliper and the rotor so I can show you the ABS or wheel speed sensor. We've integrated a stock style ABS wheel speed sensor that'll plug right into your factory harness so there's no cutting or splicing of wires. If you have a Rubicon model, you already have wiring harnesses and switches in the cab to operate the electric lockers. Dana provides the new connector to connect to the electric locker in the Ultimate Dana 60s. If you don't have a Rubicon, wiring harnesses are available from Dana. Next, we install the rotors. We're going to install the front caliper right now. When you grab this thing, you want to make sure you grab it with both hands and have your feet set. I've already connected the brake hose that came with the lift kit. You are going to need to bleed the brakes. And you need to torque these bolts and all the suspension bolts to the manufacturer's recommended specification. The vent hose connects 
just like the stock one. The Ultima 60 comes with a 1350 series half round yoke. Connect to your drive shaft. You're gonna have to replace your drive shaft. Your stock drive shaft won't work. Install the straps. One of the unique features of the Ultima Dana 60 is this raised steering arm. It sits on top of our flat top knuckles and it allows you to do a lift kit without having to install a drop pitman arm. You can connect your stock steering linkage or an upgraded steering linkage directly to the steering arm. Another unique feature of the Ultima Dana 60 is the raised mounting point for the track bar. Most aftermarket lifts give you a bracket to bolt onto the, your current axle to raise the track bar mount. We've already raised it, so there's no bracket necessary. All of our brackets are thick quarter inch steel. After you install your tie rod and your drag link, you are going to need to get your Jeep aligned. Here, we're installing the steering stabilizer. And keep in mind that the original flag nut will still work on the back. We'll torque this bolt down when we torque everything else. Once you have the tires on and the weight of the vehicle on the suspension, make sure you torque all of the suspension points, steering arms, and drive shaft bolts to the factory specifications. Just like the Ultima Dana 60 front axle, the Ultima Dana 60 rear axle has several upgrades designed for the off-roader. Enormous brakes, thicker brackets, and an electric locking differential. I've already installed the jounce restrictions that come with the lift kit. Dana recommends using proper equipment to lift the axle, and once you have it in place, you can use the stock hardware and install the lower control arms and the upper control arms, followed by the shocks. Just like on the Ultimate 60 front axle, the Ultimate 60 rear axle has a raised track bar mounting position, so there's no extra bracketry necessary to install your lift kit. Just like with the front Ultimate 60, on the rear Ultimate 60, we used wheel speed sensors and ABS sensors that are similar to the stock style that'll plug right into your harness. Just make sure you clip them out of the way so they don't get caught in the suspension. There are plenty of clips and hooks on the wire to put onto your suspension. Next, we install the rotors and the calipers. We've lowered the lift onto these jack stands so the full weight of the vehicle is resting on the suspension. The lift is not holding up the vehicle right now. You need to make sure the weight of the vehicle is on the suspension before you torque any suspension bolts. Make sure to torque them to the factory specs. The Ultimate 60 rear axle has an eight on six and a half bolt pattern. It's a full float design and has 35 spline chrome molly axle shape. Check out more advantages of the Ultima Dana 60 axles by visiting SpicerParts.com. Under no circumstances should individuals attempt to perform any repair or maintenance procedure for which they have not been properly trained or lack proper tools and equipment for the repair, including, but not limited to, safety glasses, boots, clothing, etc. Always wear the proper safety glasses that meet the OSHA requirements when performing maintenance or service. Failure to wear safety glasses can result in personal injury and or partial or complete vision loss. Always be careful when working with any products that have sharp edges. Always be sure to follow proper torque specifications carefully. Failure to do so may lead to premature component failure or damage to the vehicle components. Please be responsible and dispose of automotive fluids properly. Check with your local auto parts store for the proper recycling requirements and locations in your area. Considerations. The Ultimate Dana 60 axles are for all Jeep Wrangler JK model years. Dana recommends using a professional lift when installing axles. All fasteners should be torqued to the manufacturer specifications once the weight of the vehicle is on the suspension or on the ground. 
A lift kit must be installed prior to installing the Ultimate Dana 60 axles. New drive shafts are required for installation. Wheels must be upgraded to an 8 on 6.5 inch bolt pattern. For more information on installation and components, refer to SHAIS212 in the library at www.spicerparts.com library.